Welcome back to Fix It with Feng Shui Q&A, where I answer your Feng Shui questions or any questions you have about energy to get the energy flowing in your home, to get the energy flowing in your life. So great question is, I need a career boost, can Feng Shui help? And I'm getting this question everywhere. I'm getting it in my emails, I'm getting it in my DMs. I see it um, when I'm asking what area of your life you need help in. And so yes, there are Feng Shui cures specific to giving your career a boost. So whether it's you want to start something new, you want to learn something different, or you want uh, to shift what you're doing now or get a promotion, like whatever it is, you set your intention of what it is. You know what it is what, with what you want with regards to your career, your work, your purpose. Um, and so have a clear intention in mind and then here's where you go in your house. So in your home, there's a couple areas we're going to focus on. So when you're standing in your front door, looking into your home, we're going to do the purpose area, which is in the front third of your home in the middle, and then the self-discovery area, which is in the back third of your home in the middle. And actually these two areas support one another. So when we lay the Bagwell map on our home, we divide it into a grid of nine squares and the squares that are opposite each other actually support each other. So feng shui is really neat because you feng shui the main floor of your home and you get all of the primary and secondary colors in and the main and building elements in, and then you can feng shui your bedroom separately, which is important, feng shui your office, separately there's the three main energetic areas we work on and then we can go further and go looking at reducing elements and then looking at areas that support each other so when we're wanting a shift with regards to purpose which is your career and your work in that area we also then boost the energy in the self-discovery area same goes for like if you're wanting more abundance you boost the energy also in the assistance area so that's what I love about feng shui is there's always a lots of options and be lots of ways to shift the energy. So for this particular question, whether you're wanting to make a change in your career, get a different position, learn something new, or it's with regards to wanting to fulfill more of your purpose, just be clear in your intention and then we're gonna work in the purpose and the self-discovery areas. So those middle areas in the back third and front third of your home. If you have a home that isn't a square or rectangle, you might have a bonus area at the back with this, or you might have a missing piece, so we need to address that. So that would be important to get the Feng Shui and one, two, three guidebook. So you learn how to do that. And in along with when you receive the guidebook, you actually get to email me and ask um, what I think of how you laid the bagel map, which is the most important part. It can be the trickiest part. I make it super simple, but this way you know for sure you've got it right. So in the purpose area, that front third of your home in the middle, you're gonna add the color black and you're gonna add the element of water. If you already have those two things, add a little bit more with your intention in mind of what you want with regards to your career, your work, your purpose. Okay, so what is the water element? Well, glass decor, mirrors, feng shui, crystals, literally water, running fountain, aquarium, diffuser, those sorts of things. So that um, artwork of lakes, rivers, so anything with regards to that sort of thing will represent the water element and then the color black. Remember that the color doesn't need to be visible to vibrate with the energy so you can put it in a cupboard, you know, behind something, behind a piece of art, but just want to add a little bit more in if you have it there already. If you're new to feng shui and this is the first time when we're thinking about adding color, we want it to be poster board size, so 22 by 28 inches inside. Like you need a hit of color to get that initial vibration going. And so for me, I actually used a black doormat because my door is in this area, yours might be too. I have black frames on the mirrors that I have there. That's the water element. So I'm adding layers of black in. If black doesn't match your decor, you can most certainly hide that color behind something. And then we're gonna move to the self-discovery area and it is the element of fire and the color red. So you're gonna do the same thing. Add the color red, add a big hit of it. If you're new to feng shui, if you already have some red in that area, add a little bit more with your clear intention in mind. And then the element of fire, which literally could be candles, a light, artwork of sunrises, sunsets, volcanoes, anything animal and leather represents fire as well. So add some fire energy into the self-discovery area. And why that area? Well, that area is directly related to personal growth, but it's also related to your reputation. So if you're changing something with regards to your work, your reputation is usually very important. So we're amping up the energy in that area to help you create the shift in energy you need to move this forward. And then the key is this, is you've set your intention, you've added these feng shui cures, you've done a blessing to complete the process. 
And now you have to take the opportunities that the universe begins to present to you. So it's not a go sit on the couch time. It's a, oh, an idea pops in your head of somebody you can reach out to. You know, there's a person that keeps showing up in your world, a book, a course, a whatever. And so paying attention to what those ideas are so that you will like pick up on how you can move forward in this part of your life. So this will boost your uh, energy in your home with regards to your career, your purpose, your work, and also your personal growth and your reputation so that you can make that shift or career change that you are looking for. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. If you have a burning question you want answered on another episode, let me know below or email me jill at jillithea.com. And if you haven't feng shui the main floor yet, check out the feng shui one, two, three guidebook. The link is below.